Guides are a category of object in SketchUp. Guides differ from regular geometry in that you can't make faces with guides. Rather, they're used to aid in the process of drawing. Guides can be used to hold offset distances, angles, and points. To demonstrate this, let's draw a wall. Just make a rectangle and give it the dimensions 6 inches by 20 feet. Push pull it up to a height of 8 feet and press T for the tape measure. By default, the tape measure has a plus symbol near the cursor that indicates that you will be creating guides. If you press Option, that mode is toggled off, and the tape measure is merely used to measure distances. When it's in guide mode, click on the lower edge of the wall, and you'll see a guide immediately come off of that edge, parallel to it. Click somewhere above that and type in 3 feet to offset a guide exactly 3 feet from the ground. Draw a rectangle here representing the window. Notice that the golden section is a possibility here on a rectangle. In this case, I'll push-pull this through to the other side to make an opening. Then I'll press T to activate the tape measure and click on the top edge pulling down a guide from there. I'll click on the top of the window to set the header line. Then I can draw a rectangle representing a door and I'll push pull that through as well. I'll draw a rectangle over here at some arbitrary location and push pull it up. Let's say I want to draw a line midway between these two positions. There's a Ruby script called Midpoint which does this and I already have it loaded. I'll right click on any surface and choose Get Midpoint. Down here it says Select First End. I'll click here and then I'll click on the Second End. It puts in what we call a construction point right here, which is a form of a guide. The tape measure can also be used to create construction points, and this works by clicking two points along a single edge. The second point you click creates a construction point. There's a Ruby script called Add Vertex, which does what it says. It's by TIG. I'll go ahead and choose Add Point from the Plugins menu. Unfortunately, you can't add points in free space. Instead, you can add points on existing faces or along existing edges. Incidentally, if you hold down the shift key on an edge, you break the edge at that point. Jim Foltz has written a useful guide type script called Construction Line Tool, which I'll just load now. And this is actually on the Draw menu. It works very much like the Line Tool. You can see that the cursor gives you a yellow pencil instead of the standard red one. The difference here is that I'm able to draw guidelines, and they're terminated by construction points. The difference between guidelines and regular lines is that guides can't make faces, even when they're closed. They're merely used to snap things to when you're drawing. When you want guides that aren't parallel to existing edges, you can create orthogonal guides and then rotate them. Or you can use the special purpose protractor tool by pressing option P if you're using my shortcuts. This looks just like the rotate tool and it functions just the same. The only difference is that it doesn't actually rotate anything. Instead, it's used to measure angles, kind of like the tape measure measures distances, and it creates guides. So let's say I wanted to create a roof here on this hypothetical building. I might hover the protractor over this edge, hold down shift to lock the inference in the green plane, click here to set the center point, click somewhere over here, and then up a distance to create a guide. Then I'll type in a slope of 4 in 12 by typing 4 colon 12 return. Now I can use the tape measure to offset a guide from this existing guide, and use the line tool to sketch in a roof. I'll push pull it across. When you're done with your guides, you can individually delete them or hide them, or you can globally turn off the view of guides, or alternatively, delete them all by choosing Edit Delete Guides.